final number one is done um it wasn't bad actually like I went through and did all the ones I I did all the like quick answer multiple choice first then I went back and did the long the short answers I mean the long answer ones did all the ones I knew I think there was maybe like there were quite a few not quite a few but there were like a couple maybe like three or four of the longer answer ones that I was just like I'm gonna just have to answer this to the best of my ability and keep it pushing uh, you know my mom said never leave a question blank because that does nothing for you put down at least something some words you know that relate or something um so I actually don't think it was garbage like I think it was okay so we'll see um we shall see so now I need to get started on that checklist that's what I really need to do I thought I was gonna go running so we'll see um I think I have some assignments due for my aquatic my aquatic biology class um so I'll go get those done all right I'm actually like smiling after the final it's lit Oh, Sammy, you're nice. Unless there was someone in there. I wonder if there was two. I'm trying to make sure because I can put them up in here. Alright, so this one is not for real my grass. And this one is not small farm manager, which both of those were on my. I don't know what the heck this is list, so that's fine. Y'all, the cold is literally reaching the center of my afro right now. Like, usually it'll just look brushed by, but no, it is cold AF, which I'm not surprised. I'm honestly, like, finally, like, it's literally been hot up until now, so I'm kind of here for it, but as soon as I stepped outside, I was like, nah, like, I'm going home, and getting in my bed and drinking some tea so yeah yeah so I set out my venison to thaw out again because <laughs> I had to like refreeze it last time because I wasn't about to use it immediately so I was just like let me just throw it back in there um but it's about to yeah, so while I was thawing, I'm about to go to the store. Um, like I said, my grandma got me a gift card to Fresh Market so I can finally go grocery shopping now. Um, I really like Fresh Market. Like, they have really, they have kind of like unique stuff too. It's kind of like um, the in between of like Trader Joe's and Kroger. <laughs> so, um, so I'm about to go there. And I think I plan on making burgers and chili with the meat that I have. So I gotta get, um, some buns I gotta get some buns and everything I'll probably get kale instead of lettuce just because if I get kale then I can like eat it with other stuff like in a salad and it still be healthy too um I might get like one tomato maybe I'll look on Pinterest and find some venison recipes like how you're supposed to season it and stuff because I really have no idea um put on my shoes so I'll probably do that and look on Pinterest. I'm glad I'm going now because I'm literally like, that's ice right there. So I'm literally about to go before it gets any colder and before it gets dark. Um, and before it gets dark so I can actually drive and I'll have food for if we get snowed in or whatever. So let me hurry myself up. But I found two really good recipes um, that I can use. I can like buy the same ingredients for. Um, and then use it for both so uh, that'll be cool and then I might have to meet this guy to um, give him this calculator that I, he wants to buy for me so um, yeah hopefully we can get out here before it starts getting crazy outside I was complaining about it not snowing in Athens but snowing everywhere else before well here we are <laughs> First thing on the list, I need the vegetables, which is diced bell peppers, tomatoes, an onion, and kale. <laughs> so all that. So first we'll get this tomato. 
Yes, tomatoes is a little rough. Just a tad. That's one of the things about shopping is like, unless you had somebody to tell you, you know, like what ripe looks like and what ripe, you know, like what ripe is and isn't, um, you definitely don't know. So, yeah. I just kind of look and see if it looks decent or not. Alright, so as far as the kale, do I just want regular kale? Or do I want... the kale in the like container. Ooh! The guacamole! Alright, or do I want the kale that's like in the thing? One good thing about Fresh Market is they like prepare things for you. So like they cut these up here. Um, which is always nice and they're like oh they got coconut shrimp they have like prepared food too and it's like really really good so um, but as far as the peppers all right I see they have some down here oh they have ones with like I could just get this instead of buying is it cheaper that was like $1.99 $1.99 $3.99 Oh, that is a cow. It might just be cheaper to get them like individually. Or um not. I might just get this. This might not be enough. Where are they? So they have this cool spice central and they have dark chili powder for like $3.49. It's better be the best chili powder ever of life. But the other chili powder option is this one, which is $4.99. So we're gonna go with this one and be fancy today. What else did I need? Oh the beans. The beans! The beans. Yes! This is like the lightest bag ever of life, but these things are the bomb. These are the things that I was telling y'all about, so I'm definitely getting those because they're so good. Alright, that's all I'm getting because I got, like I said, I got $25, so we'll see how much this comes out to be. Yeah, so these are my ingredients for both of the dishes. I separated them with burger ingredients over here, things that I'll need for both of them, and then chili ingredients over here. Oh, this is not an ingredient. These are these bomb mango chili lime things. They're so good. But yeah, chili over there. And so I think first what I'm gonna do, oh, and I have my crock pot right here, slow cooker. Um, and what I'm gonna do is brown the meat for the, um, brown the meat and the vegetables and everything for the chili first and then put that in a crock pot with the beans and get that started and then I will make the burgers all right so let's wash our we're gonna wash our hands and we're gonna get started so you know my own little cooking show or whatever all right so for the burgers we have the meat the green peppers the onions from earlier we're gonna add salt and pepper good amount 
and garlic powder. Teaspoon, tablespoon, tablespoon. It said um, vegetable oil or olive oil. It said olive oil, but I usually use uh, grapeseed oil and it's a little lighter than olive oil, so I'll put like a tablespoon and a half. Um, and then it, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. I can either make two big patties out of this or three little ones. But these are the buns, these are the rolls that I have, so I'll make like two medium size. I'm gonna put a little bit of the grape seed oil in seed oil in the pan. well seasoned. It should have one egg in it to um, make everything stick together, but we don't have eggs, so just gonna compact it real tight. Alright. Remember what I said about deer to the texture? I'm gonna put this top on top of it to kind of press them down and allow it to cook a little better and like trap some of that heat in there. So they cook in the middle um, and so it's not just burnt on the outside. Um, and I don't have like a regular top, so this is what we got. I'm trying to heat down just a little bit. So, there's that. And then while all that is happening, I can cut my tomato. Raise the heat just a little bit so I can melt my cheese. If you have a top, now would be the time to cover it so that your cheese can melt. I got some onion rolls, which I should have toasted them, but I didn't, so we'll survive today. Set it up. 
set it up. Come on. Mm. I don't even like tomatoes. I've never been into a tomato in my life, but that is a good tomato. Alright, I decided I was going to put barbecue sauce on it. I put it on one just to taste it for now. But you know you got to put your barbecue sauce on and then you put your lettuce so the lettuce can stick to something. Tips. finished veggie burger look at it look at it on an onion roll i literally said veggie burger oh we have a finished venison cheeseburger with kale instead of lettuce and an onion roll all right so i'm gonna bite it for this one because this one doesn't have any sauce on it so we can get the authentic how does it taste all right It's thoroughly cooked, which is really good. I would have been mad. Well, not bad, but I was really hoping that I like cooked it thoroughly. We might be onto something. We might be onto something. The meat is like, it's really light almost. Like it's not like, I don't know how to describe heavy. Well, it's not heavy like beef is, where like it just see and it just drops to your stomach. But kind of like it goes with everything else. Like. It's light, like the lettuce, like the tomato, like the bread, so everything kind of just... I know I said I was done, but like I'm real shook right now, but I like, I kind of just want to respond because he asked a valid question. So I'm on my, um, my body wash shampoo for natural hair video. Um, if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. It's actually really useful. Um, but basically in the video, I used Dr. Bronner's, uh, look at me. On my early videos. But anyway, um. Is that it? There you go. So I used the Dr. Bronner's body soap um, as my hair shampoo, and it actually worked really well for me. So a person just commented on it, and I didn't even. So ignore the whole picture. Um, there was like, doesn't body soap dry your hair up, make it fall out? I used some, um, and it's been thinning and blah blah blah. Valid question, okay? So I'm like, cool, and I was going to respond, um, you know, basically, like, I wouldn't recommend using, like, a regular, um, body soap, like, Dove or something, but Dr. Bronner's is, like, an all-natural, um, and it's made with a lot of oils and everything, and it doesn't have any, like, of those general chemicals that, like, normal bar soap or something has in it, so I would recommend using that, but not, like, regular, regular soap, um, but I was going to say Dove or, like, Bath and Body Works, um, but then I was like, are they a guy or a girl? Just because, like, I literally, I read the name, but, like, didn't for real read the name. So I'm reading the name, and, bruh, I don't know about this. Like, a valid question, completely valid. Mm, like, I feel like I have to block you from my entire life now. So do I answer the question, or do I not answer the question? I mean, I guess it's about, I feel like I just got to block him from my entire life. Like, I can't, I can't, you like, what? What is, what? No. Okay, bye now, y'all. Bye. These are just shenanigans. But still comment. I still want to see your comments. I will respond. <laughs>
But um, like if you got a swastika in your picture, like just know I'm gonna be a little like, mm, okay. All right, deuce. So the burgers are done. My lips just look dry. They're like in a constant state of dryness because of this freaking weather. But um, yeah, that's all I'm doing for tonight because it's about to take me 10 years um, to edit this cooking portion that y'all just watched. Um, but I think Adrian's going to come over later and we're just going to watch Netflix and stuff. Um, but that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed um, the meal. Please like write me some comments below. Like if you watch the video or watch any part of the video, like let me know if you even say like, hey in the comments um i really would appreciate it like i just like i just want to interact with you guys um if you have any comments questions i'll definitely try to answer them or find answers um but yeah converse i'll definitely respond back my little nose um and then like and subscribe for all the rest of the vlogmas things and then the random uploads that i do um so i'll see you guys tomorrow Thank you guys for watching.